What is going on everybody? Justin here with Alpha Wash. So I want to tell you today about the van that we've decided to go with, or I guess I'll go ahead and give it away in the beginning, but the vehicle that we decided to go with uh, as we scale this company, we want to keep the vehicles matching. And what we've decided to go with is a van. So the reason we decided to go with a van is that it can hold a lot of weight. We've got a lot of area on the side to put our branding, a lot of real estate as I like to call it. But um, put that on the side so we're getting our brand reps in as far as our local community goes. So um, the other reason we chose a van is because they're significantly cheaper than a truck and they can haul the same amount of weight. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to have a probably around a 2008 Chevy Express van 3500. That's what we got right now. We're probably going to keep it something similar to that. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to have the sliding door on the side to where when you open the sliding door, we're going to have two hose reels stacked on top of each other. Uh, not sure what kind of hose reels we're going to go with yet. Probably just whatever is the most affordable uh, and has a good reputation. But we would like it to be electric hose reels because we are tired of rolling up hose reels. Uh, so we're going to have two stacked electric hose reels on the side door. And then if you open the back doors, the back two doors, we're gonna have an eight gallon per minute and a five gallon per minute. We're gonna have two surface cleaners, a 30 inch and a 20 inch. We're gonna have them on the walls of the uh, inside of the van. We're gonna have a ladder rack on top of it with two ladders. Uh, and then in the center, we're gonna have a 200 gallon water tank, float valves. Um, we're gonna have a 100 gallon, 100 gallon bleach tank and a 50 gallon degreaser tank and then we're going to keep that rig consistent the whole time we scale the company and with that five gallon per minute eight gallon per minute they're both going to be cold water machines but we're going to be able to do residential or commercial with any any of our rigs we're going to be able to use them residential and commercial so for commercial if we're doing restaurants or something like that we use a degreaser base and what that degreaser base will do is help us uh, remove that grease and things like that but that's pretty much our plan. Um, the four hose reels, we're gonna have two high pressure hose reels, a soft wash line and a uh, water hose reel for the to go to the tank. Oh yeah, and the soft wash. So I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna put it, but we're gonna have that those soft wash, uh, the flow jet 10 gallon per minute. That's the one that I've had the best success with. That I, I've tried a few different ones and I, I like that one. The only downside to it says plastic, so you got to be very careful about where you mount it and make sure that it doesn't get broke or anything like that. So, um, small compressor for the soft wash. So we're gonna have somewhere around fifteen to twenty grand in this rig, and it's it's gonna be able to do everything. So one more thing I'm looking to get. So in the past, I was talking to our newest technician Matt the other day, and I was mentioning to him that. The two most labor intensive parts to our job that we do each day is rolling up hose reels and moving ladders to do a roof. So when we're doing a roof, a lot of the roofs around here are extremely steep. So what we've found is we could get up on a ladder and spray right above the top gutter line. And when we're doing that, that it works fine. But the only downside to that is we have to move the ladder around a lot. And uh, when we have to move the ladder around a lot, it takes us a lot more time to get things done. And uh, time is money, as you already know. So we want to be as efficient as we could be out there on the job site. So, And the labor-intensive part of the ladders make, in my opinion, will make it to where our techs have to work less. And since our techs have to work less, they're going to more than likely like their job. And if they like their job, they're going to more than likely want to stay with us. So... Sorry I kept y'all waiting. What I came to tell you is we have decided that we're going to get, I'm not sure when, but we're going to get a 35-foot carbon fiber soft wash pole, and that's going to allow us to extend it up from the ground and reach up there to 99% of roofs. Uh, a sort of friend of mine told me, he said that you should be able to reach 99% of roofs from the ground without having a ladder. So that would be awesome. He said that the pole weighs around three pounds. I was looking at doing a extension pole, but I realized that that would be much longer, I mean, much heavier than what we needed. Uh, I believe it was around 15 pounds and it was like the, uh, 
basically it's like the long extension one that you use for a pressure washer you would just re-rig it up for a soft wash line instead of the high pressure hose you'd have the clear hose on there and things like that so let me know if that makes sense hope i'm providing some value to y'all uh, super excited about the new rigs uh like i said we still got the trailer and the van right now but we're going to be slowly transitioning over but the biggest thing is we know which direction we're going we've got it picked out we know what we're doing so now we just got to do it appreciate y'all watching uh if y'all like this content make sure to leave a comment down below hit the thumbs up uh, let me know if you're enjoying the videos appreciate y'all watching and we'll catch y'all later